right, that's the last time I let Echo recommend a movie to watch. Man, this movie isn't even scary, Echo. It's so stupid how they go, uh-huh, and when the main character cries, everyone starts crying too. It's weird how they scream with her when they're not even in pain. I mean, I think it ties into a deeper desire for the character, since her boyfriend has been passive about her own pain during the whole film. But then you have this cult who cries with her when she cries to show that she's not alone. So mimicking others is empathy. Got it. Mm. You alright? Yeah, just having really bad cramps right now. I could barely pay attention to the movie. It's so bad. Oh, I have some ibuprofen in my backpack. Ah! Ah! That hurt! It hurts, man. Are you okay, Kyle? That's it for today. Hey Julie, over here! Oh my gosh, your outfit is like so cute right now, girl. OMG, your outfit is too! <laughs> You're wearing the same uniform. <laughs> Let's take a selfie together for my Instagram. I think I blinked. Want to sit with me and Reen? Mm, sure. Okay. Who put this fan here? Is this seat taken? I'm Lola by the way. That's spelled with an L followed by an Ola. Lola. Okay. So, what are you doing today? Look, there's got to be somewhere else on campus that distributes food, right? I'm sorry, sweetheart. This is the only place that serves food on campus. Fine. I'll just have to endure it. I don't get paid enough for this sh Ralph! Did you hear what I said? I invited you to come sit with us, um, if you'd like. No, I don't really want to be on your Instagram feed. Uh, huh? I'm not obsessed with getting a hundred likes. I really like your hair. It's so cute. 
Oh, uh, thanks. And Rinny, you look so adorable. Oh, you should not be chewing on that. I know why you sat beside me. It wasn't just because you saw a new student sitting alone. Well, your eyes look pretty cool and I guess I was curious. <laughs> I want you to say how you really feel. Well, say it out loud. I, I don't understand. Don't follow me again. Echo? Hmm. You alright? Yep. It's just cause I saw earlier that you seem, I don't know, aggressive? Off? You're just being weirder than normal. I'm fine, dude. Alright, cut the crap, man. I see how uncomfortable you get around that chick. Lola? Yeah, Lola. She sounds kind of cute. She's been a pain in my... I need... Why? What? You know, this reminds me of a story. There was this fluffy white cat that I fed behind Trader Joe's once. He was being bothered by another cat, which I'm pretty sure was in heat. He was so annoyed by her that he ended up scratching her eyeball out. What does this have to do with my situation? Well, if someone's bothering you, you should probably do something about it. Before I scratch their eyeballs out? Yeah, before you go crazy and someone gets hurt. Avoidance is the path to the dark side, but vulnerability that leads to the light. <laughs> no, yeah, I can see that. Echo and Carl are late. Mm, whatever, I guess we'll have to start without them. Okay, mm -hmm. so which movie do you guys want to watch today? Scooby-Doo or Space Jam? When are we gonna watch Spider-Man 2? I still have to get the DVD for that one. Let's just focus on these two movies. Julie? Ooh, I love the Scooby-Doo movie. Alright, one vote for Scooby-Doo. What about you, Ralph? Scooby-Doo. Yeah, no. I brought my own movie because I have taste. But I brought these two DVDs. Well, why should you be the one deciding which movies I get to choose from, hmm? Who put you in charge? Well, I am the one that started this club. Okay, okay, fine. Which one? Scooby-Doo, Space Jam, or... The Tuxedo? An all-time classic. Better than Scooby-Doo. Who even likes Scooby-Doo? I do. Of course you would. Uh, all right, w which movie, guys? Scooby-Doo! The Tuxedo! What do you have against me? What? Jackie Chan in the Tuxedo was great! Prove me wrong! You're putting Lydia in an uncomfortable position and being so rude to her. What does this have to do with the Tuxedo? You were passive-aggressive to me earlier when all I did was invite you to sit with me at lunch because I know you don't have anyone else to sit with. Listen here, little Miss Teacup. I don't need you and your little entourage of brainless side characters getting all up in my business. Who you calling a side character? Okay, let, let's settle down here, guys. Yeah. We're supposed to be talking about movies, Julie. Not your dumb feelings.
I told you to stop following me. I just wanted to talk. No, Lola, I don't want to talk to you. Wh why Did I do something wrong? Look, I can smell people's emotions. Lydia over there, she smells like sadness. Julie smells of loneliness. Ralph reeks of jealousy. And you, Lola, you smell like love. You like me. I... Yeah. <sighs> Alright, just... Let's talk about this for a minute, I guess. So, what's going on with you guys? You were jealous? Of me? <sighs> it's just so easy for you to make friends. You're all charming and likable. I can barely talk to the waitresses and place my order at Danny's. Well, it's not like being the popular kid solves all your problems. I can't count how many times I thought I made friends, but they never stay. Oh, I had no clue. Well, uh, I don't think I can be in this film club anymore. Just kidding. I get that you want to make friends. But you'll get nowhere if you keep pushing people away. Ralph, you got something to say? <sighs> I'm sorry, Julie. You were just trying to be nice, and I was being an insecure jerk. C can we just watch Scooby-Doo? You can smell emotions? That's why I was repulsed by your smell stinks of love well you can tell me if you don't have feelings for me but i'd at least want to be friends still if you're willing i cannot emphasize enough how many feelings i don't have for you but i mean i'm fine with being friends i guess yay ah welcome back echo we decided on watching Scooby-Doo, if you want to join us. Say, Echo, why don't you ever sit on this side? You stink. Rainy doesn't have a smell, so I sit here. Can I get more ketchup, please? Can I get more ketchup? That'll be two seventy five. <laughs> <laughs> 